Yeah, Pat and Cindy, the last few days have been some of the worst of Sarah Toronto's life. She says everything she feels that she's going through is a blur and she can't stop replaying what happened that night in her head. We're going to let her tell you in her own words what happened to the love of her life, Sean McCo. And after that, we want to explain who Sean is and how that explains what he did. Going back to that night before everything happened, the two had gone to dinner with friends for their anniversary and decided after they would Uber to a nearby store to get some beer. They debated whether they should all go. And Sarah says now she knows why they did. Sean, Ryan and Lynette went into the store. Um, I had kind of been talking with our other friend and the Uber driver and all of a sudden I see two people run across the front of the store. And as they were running, I thought it was weird. Like, I was like, why are they running like that? And I noticed this red mask on one of their faces. And I mean, I was like, oh, like maybe they're just like, um, like kids, like just, they're just fooling around because I mean, they were kids. And as soon as I entered the store, I was like, they're not kidding around. I was like, this is bad. I watched them raised the gun towards the cashier. I think they were yelling at everyone to get down and I could see two of our friends like on the ground and them pointing it at them. And I knew right then, I was like, if he turns around and sees them pointing that gun, he's gonna do something. Like I knew already and I was just thinking like, please just don't. And right as I was thinking that, I just saw, I saw him come towards them. Once he came from that side, I didn't see him come back up and I heard, I heard the shot, they immediately ran out. They ran out so quick, but I wasn't even focused on them. I was pulling on the Uber door and I jumped out and I ran in and it was, it was bad. It was really bad. The picture like in my head replays over and over and over, but I had to be there for him. I had to go in. I was gonna try everything I could to save him and keep him with me, but I couldn't, no one could have. Sarah says the outpouring of love and support she's received from her main community and Air Force family has been a tremendous help to her. And same, it sounds as though sharing who McCo was is helping her as well. Yeah, when sitting down with Sarah today, it was really important that people didn't just remember Sean for what happened to him. She said, I don't want people to think he was just another person who died because he wasn't. So we may have learned about Sean McCo for the way he died, but now we want you to see him for who he was. He was so strong and brave. Everyone who knew Sean McCo knows why he was put on this earth to make a difference. He just, he wanted to serve our country with every part of him. A couple years after graduating from Westbrook High School, 20 year old McCo joined the United States Air Force. He would spend the next three and a half years serving in Germany, Kuwait, South Korea, and eventually Arkansas. Every step of the way, his girlfriend, Sarah Toronto, was by his side. And I told him anywhere he went, no matter where it was, that I was going to go with him. She says he had the biggest heart and a great sense of humor. He was selfless, loved his family, his country, and would never hesitate to protect others. He saved a lot of lives that night. And I know he did it for me, he did it for our friends, he did it for all the people in there. If he had survived, he would do it again.